So good morning ladies and gentlemen and thank you once again for joining me and today I'm testing this lovely touring edition 2019 Honda CB650R So in a moment I will pull over and I will walk you through all the specs and the bits and bobs So now there is no touring edition, but this is just my bike. But I've added a few bits and bobs. So let's start at the front. What do we have? We have a Puig sports screen, which actually does a really good job of uh, just getting the wind buffeting away from your sort of chest and your shoulders. And uh, that's really good. And it's really helpful for long journeys on the motorway. I was a bit worried it would make the air really turbulent up the top sort of towards my head, but actually it just raises where that uh, clean air sort of hits you instead of hitting me in the, the chest and the shoulders now it hits me sort of towards the top of the visor but it's it's nice and linear it's not turbulent it's not you know it's not shaking you around I was actually a little bit surprised at how good that screen is um, I'm not overly sure about the looks so not sure if I'll keep it on or not but we'll see we will see after the tour I might just decide just to just to keep it on this bike has also got the full RNG protection suite and uh, so as you can see here, it's got the aero crash bungs. You've got the engine cases, the fork sliders, the rear spools or swing arm sliders. Also got the radiator guard just down there and even the headlight lens protector as well. Um, and it's basically just a sacrificial part just in case, you know, a big stone flies up and smashes that uh, because the actual headlight case has already got a couple of little sort of chunks missing from it only very small but that will help with that there's the other side of the bung and there's the uh, alternator cover from RNG as well gotta say a massive thank you to RNG because they actually gave me um, a nice amount of discount for all the stuff all the bits and bobs and uh, as with most things I will be doing a full installation video for the RNG crash protection on this bike the CB650R so do look out for those in the future they will be uh, up once I'm back from, from Germany. And we have a biplane flying about and being noisy. Hi. Just as I'm trying to record, of course. So moving on to the luggage, um, I've got Shad, of course, and these are the Shad E48 soft bags, and they actually come with the fitting kit for this bike as well. So the fitting kit is these two metal uh, brackets which fit just under where the tail holder goes. You've got four bolts to each side. It's a five minute job and it's the easiest thing I've ever done on this bike actually. And uh, the bags look pretty good. Uh, oh no, that, that zips actually for the expander part, the expansion part. And you've got quite a lot of space inside. Uh, you get waterproof covers as well for them. And a nice watertight zip. I think these are gonna be water resistant in this sort of form and then if there's a massive deluge of rain then I'll just put the covers on but yeah I uh, gotta say a massive thank you to bikeluggage.co.uk who supplied these uh, panniers these shad e48 bags and the fitting kit for this bike so a massive thank you to those guys I will be doing a full installation video of this luggage and also a review because you know I'm going away for a week and uh, I'm going to be testing this luggage out while I'm away and so I'll give you a full review of how it performs any pros and cons um, but yeah that's it really so that's all oh, and also of course I've got a Tom I bought a Tom Tom rider as well I could have used my phone but I did want a dedicated sat nav because I'm gonna be doing a lot of traveling and a lot of touring so I think this is a really good investment so yeah that's that's my bike at the moment full-on touring mode some of you may have noticed that I no longer have the RNG tail unit on now there is a reason for that um, I do still have it it's a great product it looks fantastic on the bike but what I found was when I was riding um, not even in the rain but just on damp roads so much spray was coming up over the seat over me but also getting underneath the seat and that is where my USB uh, 12 volt adapter is and there was a lot of water in there and I don't really want to be getting water under there's a little animal in it somewhere. hello So yeah, I have removed that for now. Um, I'll be honest with you, even with this stock tail unit 
you do still get wet on the back. The back wheel is so far back and the subframe is so short, it's just the nature of the bike. Any tail tidy, you're gonna get wet with any tail tidy. It's not, it's not an issue with the RNG unit at all, it's just the design of the bike. There isn't much you can do about that. So that's where we are with the bike. It's uh, all ready for my trip. So I'm gonna be getting up at 3 a.m. tomorrow morning and heading down to Dover to get the uh, Euro Tunnel over to Calais and then riding through France and the Netherlands and then into Germany. And hopefully we'll get to Nürburgring tomorrow at some point and uh, have a little relax before we head out and uh, experience some of those lovely German twisty roads. So that's it for now. I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update because I haven't done a video for a couple of weeks, but uh, that's why. So anyway, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do appreciate it. Um, I've now hit 8,000 subscribers, so I'm really happy with that. Never, never really thought I'd get that many, but I do appreciate everyone who subscribed to me. Uh, thanks for all the views and the comments. One last thing, I am on Instagram. And if you do want to follow me over on Instagram, English Biker Dan, um, you'll see a lot of sort of uh, behind the scenes stuff and you'll get like a, a good idea of what I'm up to before the videos come out. So uh, do follow me on Instagram if you want to. As always, ride safe if you're going out today. Do be careful. Watch out for those cars. And uh, peace.